this show, we talk a lot about the body's pH and how it's healthier to be more alkaline than acidic. Calcium is one of those minerals that is alkalining to the body. When the body is in a state of acidity for a long time, it pulls calcium from the most readily available place. And that, of course, is your bones. Joining me now to discuss what we can do to help reverse or help even prevent osteoporosis are the authors of Naked Calories, Jason and Mira Calton. Thank you guys so much for being here. Mira, I'm going to start with you because this is a very personal story to you. You were the owner and head PR person in a very influential PR company. Tell us about that. Yeah, I was 30. I was living in New York and I thought, you know, I had my own company. I was doing film premieres and fashion things and it was fantastic. And then I just started to feel bad. I mean, it started out slowly and I blamed it on like stilettos, too many days, you know, going to too many shows, going out late night with clients. But it just started really ache. And it got to the point where I was literally not able to do any of my work anymore. I was lying on my sofa with a computer on my chest, just typing away, making excuses. And around my 30th birthday, I went and I saw the doctor finally. And I remember when he came back in, and it's, it's emotional, it's, it's, it was a horrible day. He came back in, he said, I have to tell you, I'm diagnosing you with, you with advanced osteoporosis. You have the bones of an 80-year-old woman, and it's not going to get any better, and you're going to have to have your family take care of you. And I thought, this is not, this is not the woman I'm going to be for the rest of my life. So I started doing research and found out that, like you said, I had been leaching all of this calcium from my bones to the point that it was, I was so frail at this point. Started doing research, found a doctor who was willing to work with me personally on this. And within two years, we went back and I got a DEXA scan. And I'm thrilled to say I don't even have osteoporosis. I don't have osteopenia. And I'm on a mission now to make people understand that they don't have to have this as, the, as a diagnosis that they're stuck with for life. You can prevent it. You can reverse it. Can you just give us an idea of what the symptoms were in case there's somebody out there who might think that I might have this? Yeah, you know, I start out with just aches and pains, a in lot around hips. my hips, a lot around the hips, and I hear that from a lot of the people, women who, who come to me to get more information, a lot around the hips, and then it sort of went around to the lower back, and just started with a general throbbing, and then it just became so intense that I was really just bedridden. Awful. And you met <laughs> your future husband. How did you know that? And with Jason, <laughs> um, down in Florida, how did, how did that come about? But he'd been working with clients more in a diet regimen. And when I went to him, this was really the first time that he was working with somebody on micronutrient therapy. And um, we just fell in love because we both got so excited about what we were learning. You have a game for me? We have a game for you. So what we're going to do is we're going to walk you through Mira's day. Now, you're going to hang on to this bag, oh, okay. and we're going to take you through what Mira was doing. Because everybody's okay. asked, what was she doing? What was she eating to get osteoporosis Well, certainly stress of owning your own company and yes. all the pressures that come with that. And I'm sure you were skipping meals and eating fast food. Well, so I, that's my first <laughs> few guesses. I started out every day with coffee. Coffee. Coffee with sugar in it. Sugar actually blocks vitamin C from being absorbed into the body. It also blocks calcium and magnesium. So I was stripping myself every morning with the coffee from the caffeine to the tannins. And then I would have a, a fat-free muffin every day because I thought fat-free, I'm going to be nice and thin, but fat-free <laughs> contains more sugar. And wheat also contains something called phytic acid, which robs the bo uh, body again of calcium, magnesium, and vitamin D. So can I have three of those? I can I mean, so give me these, those vitamins. Yeah, these right. balls are going to represent your vitamins and minerals that you're leaching from just the daily activities okay. of the food. Okay. okay. So then, then you, what did you have for lunch? Then I would have a spinach salad. So I'd have a spinach salad, and spinach in its raw form contains a lot of oxalic acid. And oxalic acid, again, leaches calcium and magnesium from your bones. And, then and that's I, raw spinach. Raw right? yes. so spinach. When you cook it, it becomes a double crystalline oxalic acid. Right, so you just really have to watch out when you're, if that's something you're eating every single day, you really better be supplementing. And it also steals it from anything else on the plate, not just from the spinach itself. So that was my meal, so give me three more. How depressing is that? I mean, spinach salad you would think you're being so healthy and yeah that so that's one more dressing. how many more I'm sorry three more right three more because she also put fat free salad dressing on her dressing <laughs> which didn't help with those fat soluble vitamins now a lot of times people think okay so you were doing all these mineral you were get calcium and and uh, uh, magnesium deficiency what else does that cause it causes food cravings Mira was also a sugar fiend she was eating candy all the time because she had this uncontrollable craving
craving, which is actually caused by calcium and magnesium deficiency. So it's like a it's dog just, chasing yeah. its tail. The more sugar you eat, the more deficient you get, the more deficient you get, the more you crave it. That's a catch-22, isn't yes. it? Yes. Absolutely. And then the stress, like you mentioned, stress actually makes you work through your vitamins and minerals faster. It actually depletes uh, calcium and magnesium again. And then exercise. I know. And then exercise. That's the last ball you had in here was your exercise ball? There you go. So if you <laughs> last give vitamins. that. Last ball. And then what do you have left? <laughs> That's it. And that's exactly what happened ah. to me. <laughs> yeah. That's where I was getting all of the calcium. My body was leaching. And it just, over time, it became, it became a big calcium deficiency, and I've got osteoporosis. Incredible. Well, some of these things that you're doing were healthy things. Exactly. So people have to be very careful. And I always talk about supplementation. It's extremely important to take your supplements. What a story you have. What a happy ending yes. you have. <laughs> it's great. Thank you so much for coming on and sharing this personal story with us. Thank you, Karen. Oh, appreciate it.